Hi, in this video, I am going to explain a very basic but very confusing scientific fact that we are familiar with in our daily life. I am sure that you know a closed pressure cooker makes the cooking process really faster than a whopping pot. But do you know why the cooking process is faster in a closed pressure cooker than a whopping pot? At this point, I will request you to be honest and write down your answer in the comment section. I am sure most of you think that the pressure generated inside of the pressure cooker or inside of any closed pot is the helpful factor which makes the cooking process faster. But actually, that is not the perfect conclusion because pressure is not the direct factor which makes our cooking process faster. And that's why if you keep your food in a high pressure but in a normal temperature then obviously it will not be cooked because there is absence of required temperature. So if it is not in a required temperature then your food will not be cooked and the temperature is the direct factor which helps in our cooking process. If you keep your food in higher temperature then the cooking process will be faster. And that's why we burn fuel or use an electric oven or electric heater to provide heat to increase the temperature of the food to cook it. Now at this point you may be a little confused but please don't worry I am going to explain the signs that will clarify your doubt. So as you know the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius. So when we will start heating the water in any open pot in atmospheric pressure then it will start boiling once it will reach to 100 degrees celsius temperature. Uh, you should remember one thing here that uh, if we add any impurities in any liquid it will increase the boiling point of that liquid. So obviously we are going to add some food or any grain in water when we will cook. So obviously the boiling point of the water will be more than 100 degrees celsius but I am going to neglect that things in this video to make it easier for me to explain but you should keep that in mind. Anyway once the water starts boiling the temperature will not increase anymore. Means uh, when the water is boiling the temperature of the water is constant at slightly more than 100 degrees celsius. Uh, I am not sure how much it is but it is not much more than 100 degrees celsius it will a uh, little bit more than 100 degrees celsius. So now at this point if you increase the amount of heat you are providing through your uh, burner or through your electric uh, oven whatever you are using then it will just increase the rate of the vaporization of that water it will not increase the temperature of the water. So the temperature of the water will be constant at slightly more than 100 degrees celsius. So from this I hope you can clearly understand that uh, when we are cooking in a open pot the food is being cooked at 100 degrees celsius little bit more than 100 degrees celsius. But in case of a pressure cooker the water vapor cannot escape from it and it will increase the pressure inside it. And for any liquid when the surrounding pressure get increased the boiling point of that liquid also get increased. And the same thing happened with that uh, water inside of the pressure cooker. So when pressure get increased inside of the pressure cooker the boiling point of that water inside of that pressure cooker also get increased. So it will not start uh, boiling at 100 degrees celsius and the water inside the pressure cooker consumes more and more heat and it increases its temperature. So I hope you got the basic idea that when we are cooking in a pressure cooker the temperature is much more than 100 degrees celsius but when we are cooking in a open, open pot the temperature is slightly more than 100 degrees celsius. So that's the difference that's why the cooking process in a pressure cooker is faster than open pot. So I hope I was able to explain whatever I wanted to but uh, if you still have any confusion or if you think I am wrong at some point please comment that in the comment section. You can comment any question also we can discuss things there also ok. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video please support this video by leaving a nice comment in the comment section and clicking on the like button. So thank you for watching this video see you soon in the next video please stay connected by subscribing this channel bye.